I'm Jenny with Show Me Cute, and I have a smorgasbord of lovely Valentine treats to share with you today. And there's so much to go through. I'm going to take each individual one and give you a brief description of what they are and how you can have these tasty treats for your Valentine. The first thing I want to share with you are these cupcakes. I have a previous video that show you my favorite tips and tricks on cupcakes and so you can refer back to that video as far as how to make just a perfect cupcake. The only thing I've done different to these was add some pink food coloring and the cute and delicious raspberries and strawberries. I saw this candy lip mold and I had to have it. I saw it in the candy making aisle at Michael's and so all you need is a lip mold like this and some uh, melting chocolates like these only in red. I used my red bag so I don't have that to show you and some candy sticks. The directions are on the back of the mold. It's super easy and super adorable. You could do them this way if you're at a party and serving a whole bunch, or you could package them individually just with a cellophane wrapping bag on top of them as well. All right, I made these chocolate covered marshmallows a little bit different than the video that I show you in my other marshmallows. We'll put a link in the description box below that shows you how to make the other chocolate uh, covered marshmallows and that will give you all the steps to make these as well. Only these, I just didn't add the stick. I used Valentine sparkles and I placed them in a mini cupcake liner. Continuing with the chocolate covered marshmallows, I found these jumbo heart marshmallows and I'm about hyperventilated right there in the store aisle. So I just had to have them. And they come in white or pink. They're so cute. They can marry each other. For dipping these, I dipped them in this way and I swirled it around till I got all the chocolate on. And then as you can see on the back, it's a little bit scraped off because I didn't want it to puddle when it was drying. So pretend this is the edge of my bowl and I've dipped in my chocolate and then I came out and I did one little brush like that. And then I laid my marshmallows down to dry flat on the back and I didn't have any puddling and it still makes a nice beautiful heart. So you can also put them in uh, something like this. I have a piece of foam in the bottom of here and I just covered it with a piece of tissue and that allows your sticks to stand up straight. The other thing that you can do with these would be to get a cute mug and just put a package around them and give a package of hot cocoa as well because it's February and it's still hot and I mean cold and hot cocoa, yum, a chocolate dipped marshmallow in there. That would be the perfect gift. And these adorable little mugs came in the dollar spot at Target. For these cupcakes, the um, basic tutorial is in my previous cu cupcake tips and tricks videos as well. Um, I did these basically for the cameraman that's holding the camera right there. He saw this idea in a magazine and got all hyperventilated like I do and he wanted to make these. And the thing that I really like about these is because the snowball coconut effect really allows your valentine sprinkles to stand out and so I love that the hearts are really defined in there. Last but certainly not least, I saw this idea and thought it was just so cute to go with all the heart and arrow things that I've shared with you previously this year. And so, the only thing you have to do is make Rice Krispie Treats and I'm pretty sure everybody knows how to make those. If you don't, you can Google Rice Krispie Treats and find the recipe. You're just going to take a heart cookie cutter and after you have um, made your treats and they've set up, you're just gonna take the cookie cutter and push it down and punch it out just like that. And then I'm gonna take this um, 
candy stick that I used for some of the other things and I'm just going to take it uh, you can do however you like at an angle straight on whichever but in the middle and push that all the way through now one other thing that you need to know is I made these extra thick so in a smaller pan so that there would be a good amount of thickness for this to go through so you wouldn't want to do this on some skinny Rice Krispie Treats. Then I got these adorable paper straws at Target and they sell them all over the place these days in all kinds of colors. And I'm just going to stick that through as well. And then I kind of had to make sure and compact my treat really well. So if you're making these to give away from somebody, you definitely want to have clean hands or some gloves. And so that's what you will look like there. And then I'm gonna grab my scissors and show you really quick how to add the tip and the tail to your arrow. I just cut off about an inch on either side because it was just a little bit longer than I wanted it to be. And then I took some black cardstock, and this is really easy. And um, you just take and cut out a triangle, and then this is a another the end shape. Once you have your pattern all cut out, then you're just gonna take the tip. Put just a dot of glue on the back and stick it right on to your little paper straw. And then do the same thing with the back. And add that. You can do them any color you want. And they're so cute. You just wanna eat them, don't you? Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've seen some ideas that inspire you to please the one that you love this year. And don't forget to subscribe and check back next week for another super cute idea. Bye. Hey, my favorite team's not in the Super Bowl this year, but my favorite man is singing at halftime and I am so excited, even more excited than my favorite team because nobody loses. I just win because I get to see my Bruno and I have set up my stage and our party is ready and we are so excited to get this started so look for more pictures on twitter and instagram of all the fun we are going to have tonight